A former U.S. Air Force intelligence specialist accused of defecting to Iran was indicted Wednesday. The Justice Department says Monica Witt gave Iran information about a top-secret U.S. program and revealed identities of other intelligence officers. David Martin has more from the Pentagon. For 11 years, Monica Witt used her top-secret clearance to spy on Iran first for the Air Force and then as a government contractor. But she quit in 2010 and later, according to Assistant Attorney General John Demers, told the Iranians all about her secret work. What we've alleged is that what she provided them was the identity name of a, a secret intelligence program of the U.S. government, as well as the identities of uh, an intelligence officer. She first made contact with the Iranians while attending an anti-American conference in Tehran. After Witt returned to the U.S., she started texting with a go-between, a person holding dual U.S.-Iranian citizenship who was assessing her potential as a spy. In one text, Witt told the go-between she might do like Snowden, an apparent reference to Edward Snowden, the one-time contractor for the National Security Agency who leaked troves of top-secret documents. Then she defected to Iran. She appears to have switched her allegiance to uh, thinking that the United States, where she was born and raised and worked, was uh, you know, not where her allegiance was anymore. Witt helped the Iranians create so-called target packages on the American intelligence officer who had run the secret program, along with several others she knew. A target package in intelligence community parlance is uh, basically a plan to neutralize uh, one of our intelligence agents. Iran attempted to hack into the officers' computers and plant malware that would allow them to record every keystroke on their keyboard. And David Martin joins us now. So, David, what would need to happen for Wit to be held accountable for her alleged crimes? Well, as long as she stays in Iran, which is where she is uh, believed to be now, she is basically beyond the reach of U.S. law because uh, there is no extradition treaty, even if there were good relations uh, with Iran, which, of course, there are not. Um, so she would have to for some reason come back to the United States or come back to a, a country where she could be arrested and, and that had an extradition treaty. It seems unlikely that she would expose herself to arrest. Do authorities believe Witt could still be a threat to American intelligence? Well, remember, she defected six years ago. She defected in, in uh, 2013. And it's only now that the, uh, the U.S., the FBI, has been able to uh, make this case against her. So the Iranians have had uh, six years to get everything out of her. And I, I think that any continuing damage uh, is, is probably fairly inconsequential. It's what she did at the time, which was to reveal the existence of what was a very highly classified Pentagon intelligence program directed at Iran and to reveal the identity of the intelligence officer who was working on that specific program along with other intelligence officers she had gotten to know in the course of her 11 years working for uh, U.S. intelligence. And that all became uh, uh, fodder that the uh, Iranian intelligence agencies could use against the U.S. And what they did was they tried to hack into the uh, computers of all those uh, officers trying to plant uh, uh, malware uh, so that they could record all the keystrokes they were making on their keyboards, even trying to hack into their, uh, <clears throat> their desk cams to uh, uh, possibly watch them while they work. We do not know, and it, but it is not alleged in the indictment that they actually succeeded in uh, hacking into those computers. And as far as we know, uh, no harm came to any of those intelligence officers beyond the simple fact that they were exposed to the Iranians and are, in effect, blown. <clears throat> uh, David, do we have any further information about why she may have defected? No, if, if, if you just look at the sequence of events, it, it just seems as though uh, she became disaffected with what uh, U.S. intelligence was doing. Um, she, uh, she 
talked about uh, uh, pulling a, a Snowden, a reference to uh, Edward Snowden, who had uh, once worked for the uh, a contractor working for the National Security Agency and then had uh, leaked uh, troves of top secret documents. So she seems to have become just disenchanted with what the U.S. was doing. And she went to uh, Iran to uh, participate in an anti-American conference in 2012, and I think was spotted by the Iranians then, who quickly realized that she had some potential to have uh, some secrets that the Iranians might be interested in. And then they spent about a year uh, trying to check her out, and then finally she uh, defected for good in August of uh, 2013. All right, David Martin at the Pentagon for us. David, thank you. Sure thing.